I'm here at Sage Ranch in Los Angeles, which is very high on a mountaintop and has a beautiful view of the Simi Valley and the San Fernando Valley. And I, there was a story I meant to tell you about this place. Um, yeah, I forgot in the last video, but it goes like this. Um, in the 1960s, just to the west of here, as I've mentioned in, in the past, there was a nuclear reactor leak. And for several days, they didn't know about it or didn't know how to fix it, one or the other. And so the leak spread through these hills here. These, um, the wind was blowing this way, and the leak spread through Sage Ranch and on down towards the San Fernando Valley. And it has done some damage that's still here, uh, that and the rocket fuel um, cleaning fluid that seeps down into the substratum down here. They've both done some damage to the land here. So, uh, and I knew this, and when I go through, I say a little prayer or blessing for the clearing of the earth here. Um, so the other day I was, I was walking down and I saw this lone, beautiful little oak tree uh, in, the, in the middle of a field that was looking a little desolate. So I went down to explore and, and see this little oak tree and what lay beyond it. And just when I got down to the oak tree, I, I heard a buzzing in my left ear, um, a high-pitched buzzing. And then I heard this little voice, this winsome little voice. Uh, I think it was the nature spirit. It was, go it was saying, we don't want humans here. And I said, why? And they said, we're trying to fix this place up. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. And so then I went back out towards the, <laughs> I, and, and the buzzing was still happening in my ear, so I went back out towards the path, and I turned around, and I, I saw that the, that the land was laboring under this burden of toxins, you know, more so than I had noticed previously. So I, I said some ohms, and I, I visualized the earth clearing and, uh, and healing and the waters beneath the, the, the ground healing as well. And all of the nature spirits who seem to have been pretty upset by this and are doing their very best. And so, um, and today I came back and did the same thing and, uh, and did my best to channel down energy into the deep, deep soil of earth here. And, uh, I noticed while I was here there are so many sandstone rock formations and uh, they, I, I was thinking that they're not like uh, granite which has inclusions of big crystals in it that are very good for transmitting energy, but I'm thinking that they are, sandstone is, it does have silica in it and uh, it, these are tiny little crystals that may help to hold the energy that, since they're underneath the ground here and the water lies, the subterranean water lies on top of them. So I'm hoping in future times to anchor the energy into, uh, into the sandstone, into the, the tiny crystals in the sandstone. If you have a chance to walk uh, near Sage Ranch. If you live in the Los Angeles area and have a chance to do that, it would be wonderful if you could send some good energy. From wherever you are, you can do that. Just to every nuclear reactor leak site in the whole world, you could send healing energy to the earth. And I, and that, I would be so grateful for that. And the earth would be so grateful. And millions of nature spirits would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, and for the waters of Earth, for the oceans and the aquifers and all of those areas where that, that radiation has gotten down into it, you know, um, just, just visualize all that clean and pure and just like comet ice on water, pure of any kind of energy of duality. I think it will be a wonderful service to Earth. That's all for now. Talk to you later. Love you.